So in this video today, I want to show you how to install Quillbot inside Microsoft Word document. Now we are here inside Microsoft Word, Word document. I'm not going to waste time. Let me just start straight away by showing how you can install this Quillbot into this Microsoft Word document. Now the first, this method I'm going to show you does not require you to go on the internet and maybe download something or what. Or what. You need to install it from inside this Microsoft document. Just make sure you're on home. You're on this home tab. And then from this home tab, you go ahead and, and go across it and find this area which says add-ins. Yes, sometimes it appears around here, but you'll find it here on this Microsoft Word document. This is Microsoft Word document 2019. So when you see this one add-ins, just come and click on this orange button that says add-ins. Click on it, double click on it, and you'll see that many add-ins will appear here. Now, if you scroll through and you will see Quillbot here, if you don't see Quillbot, if you don't see Quillbot here, you go ahead and click on this thing which says get added. So you just click on it and this window will appear. Now, this window will spin and open. If the window spins and doesn't open for you, that means you have not logged into your Microsoft web store. So you're going to, you're going to log into your Microsoft app store and then you'll, you'll reach here. But if it brings you here, it's well and good. From here, you go ahead and search for Quillbot. Yes, so you type Quillbot. Yes, you type Quillbot. Quillbot. And you click enter. And then it should bring for you the Quillbot add-ins, which will be something like this. Now, from here, all, all you have to do is click on this add. You click on this add. So click on it, and it will bring you this. It will bring you this, then you click on continue. So you want to continue, and you wait. Give it some time, and it has to appear among these uh, add-ins you wait you give it some time as it's going to come so you, you, you keep on waiting uh -huh. as you can see now it has come it has come by itself now you can see that a tab for quillbot has appeared up here so if i click on this tab it will show me that quillbot has appeared here now it's asking me to launch so i'll click on this launch and it will launch on this side you can see that it's launching if it launches on this side for you it will ask you to log in to log in so you use your own quillbot account to log in your Quillbot account, the one you created on Quillbot. Now, most of you are just created your Quillbot account using your Gmail alone. You just created the account using Gmail and you did not create a password for that account. So, in order to create a password for that same account, so all you have to do is go online, come to online and write Quillbot paraphrasing tool and open it. To bring you here, this is the, the area for Quillbot. So I'll just come here and click on this in this corner. I'll click on this so that it can take me to my account. So I'll click on this and then click on account details. Now, as you can see, here are the account details. But as you can see here, it's saying add password. That means I did not create a password for it. Yes. So I just created this account using Google. So all I have to do is click here and add a password. So I'll click here and add a password. So I'll type a random password. Let me pick this one. I'll click this. And you can see that it has appeared twice. Then I'll copy it and store it. So copy this. So that password has been saved. Then I'll come this side and click on add password. So I've added a password. So I'll click on add password. As you can see, my password has been added. And then I click on update password. And then it's asking me to log in again. So I can log in again. And then put the password. And I click on login. So it, it should be about, yeah. So now I've created the password. So the password works. Now since the password works, I can go to Killboard and I'll log in via Quillbot. So I open this. After here, I have launched the Quillbot here. Now I'll click here and put the email. Yes. Which I just copied. So I'll paste the email here. This is my email. Then I'll put the new password which I just created. So after putting the password, then I click on login. Now wait for it to log in. You must be connected to the internet in order for this to work. So as you can see, I've now logged in. Now you can see that this, this is now Quillbot working. So you must be on the internet in order for this to work. So if I want to paraphrase, let me say this whole sentence. So I'll just highlight. After highlighting, the sentence should appear here. So as you can see, the whole sentence has appeared here. Now I can click on rephrase and wait for it to appear down here. As you wait for it to appear down here. So as I'm waiting, uh, you can wait and see. Uh -huh. As you can see, it has now paraphrased the whole sentence down here. Now I can click on insert to insert it there. So click on insert and it has been inserted here. You can see that this thing says a calm and healing atmosphere. Even this one says a calm and healing atmosphere. So it's the same thing. Now it's working. That's how you can get Quillbot. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss what I'm going to show you in the next video.